sitting down right now with the Pierce Brothers, just come off the back of an electric set at Central Coast Music Festival. <laughs> it was it's a lot of catching fun. your breath. There was a lot of surprises in that one from our perspective. I mean, Mate, we didn't, we, I we haven't had a great deal of exposure to you guys. And like, I don't know, I just didn't expect to see what I saw. So for those who, who are gonna see like snippets of this, but obviously weren't there, Give us a bit of a rundown of what just happened. I tell you what, I feel like I've just done 10 push-ups. You know what I mean? Like it's, 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 it was really good fun. We, you know, being able to jump around and run around and set, it's just such a good vibe. You know what I mean? We sort of, we came up from busking. So doing the flips and jumps and just, essentially that all just came from, you know, stop and look at us <laughs> and then give us, buy a CD. So it's yeah. the, sort of the whole idea. Was that, that dictated the way that we Be a bit of a spectacle, you know? Um, so that's the sort of thing, just running into the crowd and just sort of making people look at you. It was unreal, it really was. <laughs> the spe it was a spectacle for sure, and like obviously you guys make amazing music in the process. What was it like, this is stop two of a regional tour for you guys, yep. um, here on the Central Coast, you're at the Central mm -hmm. Coast Music Festival. How has this event been for you? Tell us a little bit about um, you know, how it's been for you today and having something like this here on the Central Coast. It's been awesome, I was just saying when we, when we pulled in here to one of, the, one of the crew that's working here, I think this is one of the first interstate festivals we've had since, you know, since everything shut down all the rest of it. We haven't been touring as much. I don't think there's been. Is it a couple? All right, cool. Anyway, it's so exciting. <laughs> cut that. I can't remember. <laughs> cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that. Um, no, it's been it's been so much fun to get you know out of the state and traveling and back on the road, and then coming to places that we've never been before and being able to play. And big just, sets, like it's so yeah, much fun. Doing the drive down here as well, it's just so so nice, this part of the world. Yeah. And we haven't really had an opportunity, especially in the last couple of years, to sort of just smash out sort of this part of the coast. Like we've done a lot of stuff, obviously in Victoria and sort of the cities and then sort of northern New South Wales, those beaches and stuff. But um, getting down to the sort of central coast area, it's absolutely stunning. And it's been so, ages since we've been yeah, here. So we're, this is going to be sort of a bit of a, fix, a fixture for us next year. And definitely bringing our boards because I've just been watching, it's just been like three foot offshore every, everywhere I've stopped in the last few days. And I've just been looking at it just going, oh, the water is gorgeous at the moment. <laughs> Nothing, well, yeah, I know exactly how you feel. It's been lately. Um, and talking about touring, you guys have just come off the back, well, not just, but pretty recently off a European tour as yeah, well, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. How was that? That, that was, was great. great. It was, uh, that was uh, our first one, again, you know, in a few years, but because we're, we've always been a band that's a live act, that's what, you know, that's what we've kind of based our whole career off is, touring and playing live and doing all that. Building so, that momentum. And building, yeah, building the momentum organically. Yeah, we were worried that it wasn't gonna, um, we're going back and we just had, would have lost that, but it was still unbelievable. Every show was packed and we just had a ball. Such we a good vibe. We just traveled around and- What I wasn't prepared went to a lot for, of different countries. Ready for again was going back to like, we did like what, 24 shows in 27 days or something like that. And I was, was exhausted. Like six, six days <laughs> on, one day off. Six days on, one day off. It was yeah. just, yeah. Yeah, having seen what we just saw, I can imagine that would be like genuinely taxing, but <laughs> you guys love it. So. You lose a bunch of weight and you get really fit by the end of it, <laughs> except then you end up just having a lot of beers on the way and it's just sort of vehicles itself out. That's right, you stay level, that's yeah. something. Um, well, obviously, it's in the name, you guys are brothers. Um, how, how much do you think that helps you with, and, and you've been playing together for ages, basking, how much does it help with your chemistry on stage and kind of being able to do what you do in terms of a We've always been very close, <clears throat> but it can be a help or a hindrance, you know. The, the, we do have our Gallagher brother moments and uh, oh, yeah. I think everybody on our crew can attest to that. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> and, uh, uh, we've, we've, we've had some pretty epic blow ups. <laughs> But, um, Just don't go full Gallagher brother, please, for the sake of Australian music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, um, like, we, the harmonies and stuff, like our voices, you could tell, a bit croaky just because, but um, the harmonies and stuff, because we're identical twins and we've got really similar voice boxes. So the harmonies and stuff work really well. A lot of family bands will get that, like the Cores or Finn Brothers and things like that. They all harmonised just really well, so that was sort of a strong thing that we had going for us. Yeah, we always, we, even when we were young, we could, we found that harmonising was something that we were kind of could do naturally and found really easy to do. And, and then you know we could incorporate into jumping around stuff quite early on. Um, and so we, when we, I guess when we started writing music, we always wrote that with harmonies and stuff in mind naturally, and not something that we had to kind of pick up and work on. So. Um, 
the, the thing about working with family is that, yeah, yeah it's, you can have bust ups, but you always come back together because it's family, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, you know, so, so far so good. That's, it's good. It's really working well for you. I mean, the family reference, it reminds me of a local band. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a local band, um, Little Quirks. I don't know. If oh, yeah, Little yeah. Quirks. Yeah. That's so it. You guys will be familiar with them as well. They're family yeah. as well. They work so well with the harmonies. Um, and you guys and those guys kind of really tap into, from our perspective, this really what seems to be like emerging energy and supporter base and just really growing um, like appetite for that high energy, fun folk music yeah. that you guys make. Um, from your perspective, having done this for a while, are you seeing that audiences are really starting to flock towards it and that people are starting to recognise it? Um, because that's what it's like from our end, but also, you know, we don't come from traditionally folk backgrounds. So yeah, it's been there. We, we've always found that if there's a crowd, we can generally pretty much get them on side, you yeah. know? And it's just because it's... Like, I, I, well, if you jump around like idiots enough, anyone's going to Yeah, watch. exactly. It's, 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 that's, it's the, that's the nature of spectacle. And this, you know what is, I mean? this is the thing. We don't write difficult music. <laughs> we do three chords and jump around and sing and scream and smile and do a flip and play some instruments at the same time and make dicks of ourselves. <laughs> and to try and make people laugh. It's a somersault at best. What? It's a roll on the ground. <laughs> and I usually and fall it, over. And it, and it'll get people going like that. And, you know, it might, it, it generally, at it, it, a... Like that's why I worked with this for busking and stuff. It's 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 not too challenging to uh, it's not too technical. It's not too challenging, and it's just it's fun. I don't want to shit on myself too much. No, no, no. no. Like you're like showing yourself short. <laughs> you know, like no, it, I think I think the vibe, the, the the best part about energetic folk is that because we, we, we've you're turning, I guess, traditional songwriting, singer songwriting. Uh, upper level and you know like you were saying before it's you trying to play folk duo songs as a punk act and that's that's can be a lot of fun to to see how far you can push it it's just yeah it's just energy and that's the thing sometimes like in melbourne and uh some major cities like new york and stuff is a lot like this they'll be loving the show but they'll sort of watch like that and then you'll get other other parts and like we we're seeing a lot of today where people would actually just be sort of going for it yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's funny the difference in, in crowd demographics. Yeah. Um, you guys just dropped uh, latest release, The Captive, yesterday. Which mm. was yesterday. How's that been? Um, and give us a bit of a forecast for the rest of the year for you. So that was, that was I think, the third release in this little project that we're yep. working on. So we decided that we, in between the last album and before we did the next album, we wanted to work on something different. So we um, kind of asked around with a few of our uh, artist friends if they wanted to collab and we just do a, a, just a slew of collab songs. So we did one with Garrett Cato, uh, Steph Strings, this latest one was with Jan Skubashevsky who is part of Way of the Eagle and a, an amazing producer in his own right. Um, we got one with uh, Tash Sultana that we're going to be doing, Budra we work together on. And so <clears throat> we, we kind of just wanted to push the envelope in a few different directions, try some new things and, and just kind of see yeah, this this, this album was this little EP. It was kind of just. It doesn't have to sound like us. It doesn't have to really sound like. And you know, let's just do some collabs and see what happens. And the next album we're sort of working on at the moment. Yeah. So we got some cool videos and stuff in the pipeline that I'm working on. Yeah, we're we're gonna record it mostly at the new studio at my place that we built, and uh, try and get all the beds down, all the and make sure it's much more of a live, I think, recording on the next album. That's the, that's the plan, you know, putting this into effect is gonna be difficult, but <laughs> yeah. there is a plan there. Yeah. And uh, we're in the writing phase at the moment, so we're just putting down all the demos, which is um, difficult, but lots of fun. Unreal, well, we've got a whole lot to look forward to. You guys obviously have the rest of this regional tour, um, which fills out the rest of the year pretty much for you, yeah. I believe. Pretty um, much up until February. And yeah. then I think we'll just be taking a bit of time working on the album. Yeah, up until about December 23rd, I think is the last show. And, I, and my wife and I have a baby due on December 25th. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but it's not far. It's the, that gig's not far from, from home. So and, uh, uh, yeah. we have made arrangements <laughs> that I can do it solo. Exactly. <laughs> who holds a harmonica? Who holds a <laughs> well, this happened at Blues Fest, right? So Jack got COVID like yeah. the day before we left. Mate, that was and brutal. And we were like, you can't do it. And I was like, well, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> so me and the keys player got up and then Kim Churchill got up and tried to play drums but can't play drums. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was talking to some people at the show last night who were there and they're like, it was great and he was trying but 
he did, just didn't know your parts. And so he was just sort of, it was just that. And it was fun and everyone was on board. And then the next day, our old sound guy, who's now a brother-in-law, um, but he's a drummer and he's seen everything that Jack has done. Like all the stops and he remembered it. So then he came on and just remembered all the parts. What, just off, off the top of his head? Wow. And just, we did the second show at Blues Fest like that. The, yeah, if that doesn't go ahead, it'll just be me and Keys and we'll just, it's, it's good it to know that I'm not needed. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I don't need to be here. Well, I think it's if I'm not there, Jack's just running out in the crowd. <laughs> <getting there. laughs> yeah. It's a credit to your professionalism that you can still put a show together like that. I mean, it's a, yeah. Yeah, it's professionalism. <laughs> we haven't tried it with me yet. <laughs> oh, just a moment. Um, but Jack and Pat, thank you so much for sitting down and having a chat. Thanks for coming to Central Coast Music Festival. You can catch them at any regional tour spot around the country pretty much for anywhere this we'll year. find you check their website i'm not gonna yeah. lose through every single day but you check can, your laundry we're under the towels <laughs>